cannot believe it's the start of October, especially just nearing the end of my pregnancy. Time is flying by, but we are gonna soak it up the next couple of days. I have a lot of just kind of fall things that I wanna do, a lot of cooking. We have really been in our cooking era, me and Aiden both. He has been a grill master lately. He probably grills dinner three times a week now. Just all the other fall things. So I'm really excited to spend the next couple of days with you guys. It's Monday today, and for today's agenda, I have a few different errands that I wanna run. We basically have no groceries, and I also want to just cook a lot of things. Aiden is so funny. He will literally eat everything. He is probably the least picky eater I have ever met. But last night, he was talking about how ramen just sounded really good and he's actually never had ramen before and so i'm gonna attempt a recipe tonight that i found from half baked harvest i want to make some sourdough pumpkin muffins i've never attempted that before but that just sounds so nice i want to run by my favorite nursery it's called rubles in dallas they have the most beautiful pumpkin display and i don't really need anything but i just want to walk over there and see it because it's always just a little mood boost going over there and then just have some work to get done it is finally feeling so nice outside it's getting so so cool it's amazing it's nice to actually feel like fall just keeping it real i have been feeling so insecure lately the past couple of weeks i don't know what has happened i don't know what hormonal changes are going on my skin is just so not doing well right now it is so dry it's breaking out to the same level that it was my first trimester and I just do not feel like myself. I'm also starting to get to the point where I'm swelling a lot and things just don't fit. I have basically three or four outfits that I could wear right now. And I'm just seeing all these fall fashion photos and reels coming out. And I just miss being able to dress the way that I really want to. But I'm trying to remind myself I have one month left. I've really loved being pregnant too. So it's not that I haven't been loving being pregnant, but there are just some things that come along with it that are not super, super super fun, which is why I'm in this dress again, because it's just comfy and simple, but I am excited for when my newly comes because hopefully we'll have some more options in there for this last month. Also, don't know if you noticed that we have a couple new additions to our home. We put together our stroller this past weekend. We got the Uppa Baby Vista and then we also have our car seat right there. We put our base in, which is all just so exciting. And one of the things that I've been nervous about is actually how Cash is gonna walk with the stroller. And to be honest, it has really been making me nervous because I do just love our morning walks. And I know, especially in the beginning when I'm healing and really trying to recover. It is gonna be mostly Aiden walking him all the time and it might be him doing that for quite a bit of time. But I love the idea of being able to walk cash and then also stroll the baby, especially when Aiden goes back to work. So we went for a little test stroll this weekend and you guys, he did so well. I think he walks 10 times better with the stroller versus without it. Aiden does the evening walks with him, but I have walked him every single morning since he was a puppy and it's just one of our favorite things to do together. And I really do want to keep that up, especially just for my own mental health. It's one of those things that I love and he did so well. And so I just had to share that if you're nervous about that, if you also have a dog, we almost did formal training with him before the baby came too, but decided against it and decided we were just going to work with him and try to kind of get him used to everything. But that just made me so thankful. Also wanted to know, I've been drinking these element electrolyte packs. I'll do just one in the morning. This is not sponsored. I just ordered these on my own and they are so good. I actually got these for labor and delivery. I've been trying to think about what I want to have in my hospital bag and I've heard that these are really great. They are very salty, but for some reason I really like them. They're really, really delicious, especially the raspberry salt one. That one's my favorite. These have been getting me to drink more water if that's something that you struggle with. Oh, the lilac snow Drifting down so soft and slow Outside my window I watch it go Oh, the lilac snow Though the world may seem so still it's coming in a distant chill With the memories of winter's past Of the one 
just hopped out of Trader Joe's and I'm about to go into a different grocery store to grab just a couple of basic things. But lately I have had so many little God moments. Not little, they honestly mean so much to me. Yesterday before church, for some reason, I had just this really big feeling of loneliness and was feeling really sad and down. And at church, it was so sweet. The girl sitting behind me, her name was Phoebe. She actually introduced herself to me and said that she had watched my videos and happened to know my sister Lindsay. And then today I was checking out at Trader Joe's and just had such a lovely conversation with the checkout guy, which they're always so sweet at Trader Joe's. And then there was another woman who complimented my dress and she was talking about how her daughter's pregnant. And she was like, it's so cute. I want to order it for my daughter. And she had me pull it up on Amazon and took a photo of it. It was just being so kind. And I know a lot of people might see moments like that and just think, oh, that's just a coincidence. It just kind of happened. But I find that life is so much more enjoyable and special and you really savor those moments when you recognize that they're put there for a reason and i know everyone has different opinions about that but i know that god is always putting those little moments in my life and i'm just really thankful for them and wanted to express some gratitude but let's grab these next couple of things and then head on home big trader joe's haul we're gonna start off over here i have a bunch of frozen stuff I've been liking just having a couple things on hand and especially as I prep for postpartum. Obviously these aren't the healthiest things ever. I've just been trying to stock it with easy things to eat. I really like these egg frittatas and then their barbecue chicken pizza is just really good. Pretzels, coconut oil. I've randomly been needing coconut oil so I just picked it up since it's pretty cheap at Trader Joe's. Harvest chili, one of my favorite easy lunches. Pumpkin pie spice, cracker cuts. I actually have never tried these pull apart rolls but I've been making little sliders and just having them in the fridge just for quick snacks. I've also never seen crunchy chili onion hummus, but this looked amazing. I really like their crunchy chili onion olive oil. It's really good. Sorry, Cash is drinking, but we're going to try that. They also fed our starter for our bagels that we're going to start tonight. Wine country chicken salad. Love this. Love the just mango slices, dark chocolate chips, mushrooms, coconut milk for our ramen. Aiden really likes prosciutto, so I grabbed that. We have some friends staying with us this weekend and we're going to the fair. I'm so excited but I wanted to have some cinnamon rolls just to make one morning. Dates, because if you know, you know, I've been on my dates grind lately. And honestly, I think these might be one of the reasons why my skin is breaking out so much because there is so much sugar in dates. And I've been eating probably six a day at this point. So I don't know, but we're gonna prep those. I've been eating those with peanut butter, chopsticks, basil, limes. And then just a few more things over here. We have some sourdough bread. Since I'm gonna make the bagels, I'm not gonna make bread too. Things for our ramen. I couldn't find just plain ramen noodles. I could only find some that came with the spice pack. So I just grabbed a couple and I just won't use the spices. I'll use those in our recipe. Cold brew, maple syrup we needed, bell peppers, some pumpkin honey, and then avocados. Also picked up some fall flowers. I haven't really gotten flowers in a while and I need to refresh ours. So we have proteas. I really like these cactus looking flowers for the fall and then some chamomile I'm gonna mix in too. in the mail so I wanted to unbox it with you guys. It is from Cezanne and they just have the cutest packaging ever. Everything is always so so feminine and beautiful and this was a sweet gift from them so we're gonna see what's in here firstly this is the thing i am most excited about i got this patchwork jacket that is just absolutely beautiful both these things are more for postpartum but i just thought for the fall and winter this is the perfect weight for texas winter too at least at the start and it is just absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna try this on here in a second wow that's so cute i love the collar on it too and then we also have this sweater that i thought would be really nice with just a pair of dark wash jeans and booties in the winter time very kind of coastal grandma if you will i got a size medium i probably could have gotten a small but i kind of wanted a more oversized fit and i think that this is so nice all of Cezanne stuff is just so well made and the material is just so beautiful thank you so much Cezanne, for sending those over these are the bouquets that i'm gonna refresh these are actually from my baby shower my sister Lindsay made these so i can still use these guys still look really nice so we'll keep those and then mix in some of the new flowers that we got 
having some raspberry leaf tea as well while I do this. literally been getting my work done in the nursery because this chair you guys we just finished up this room and this chair I'm trying to get use out of because it was not a cheap chair but just look at this it automatically reclines it's crazy there's a charging port in here I've been trying not to recline a ton because I know it's better to be upright right now and getting baby in the right position. But every now and then, you just gotta put your feet up. And so I'm gonna get some work done on my laptop for the next bit. And then Aiden and I are gonna go for a nice long walk. We've been going on really long evening walks and it's been so enjoyable. I've been trying to walk a lot lately since I'm not really doing my normal exercises as much anymore. And now that the weather's cooled down and we just really catch up and have really good conversations when we walk, I feel like we're turning into an older couple, but it's something that we both really look forward to. start on dinner. The recipe that I'm following for the ramen is from Half Day Harvest and it says it's a 30 minute Thai peanut chicken ramen but usually when she says 30 minutes it takes me twice as long so it'll probably take me about an hour but it seems pretty easy so we'll see how this goes and then I'm also going to go ahead and start the bagel dough too. It doesn't have a ton of steps tonight but I like that it's one that you can start with. I'm about to read in bed for a little bit. I've actually been listening to audiobooks. Right now I'm listening to Baby Wise. I haven't really listened to any or read any kind of baby books in a while, so refresh my memory from some of the things that I've been learning. The verdict on the ramen was, wasn't my favorite recipe because I didn't really feel like it was as authentic as the ramen that I remember I've had in the past, like back when I lived in New York. We would go to so many just really, really tasty ramen places. And this was good, but it just didn't have that warm broth feeling because it had the peanut sauce. And so I would like to try one that's a bit more authentic. If you have a favorite homemade ramen recipe, something maybe with egg or something that just feels a bit more authentic to ramen because I the recipe was good, but it just wasn't as good as I remember it tasting when I was in New York. I'm gonna go ahead and unwind for the night and I'll catch you guys in the morning. checked on our dough and I'm really not sure if this looks how it's supposed to look but I'm just gonna go ahead and make these anyways because it's been about 12 hours since I made it and her recipe says 10 and it hasn't really risen 
that much. It definitely has doubled. I can't quite remember what bagel dough is supposed to look like versus bread. So we're just gonna go for it. The nice thing about bagels is that they are more dense. So even if it doesn't have such an airy or crumb, I still think it should be okay. It smells really amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and make these. I also do kind of need to get on with my day. So I wanna do this right now in the morning. So we're just gonna attempt it. gonna shape our bagels this is my favorite part because you just poke a little hole in it and then you literally just shape it into a bagel They definitely look a little bit quirky, but I'm sure they're gonna taste great. I just put some pumpkin cream cheese on them, so we're gonna see what the verdict is. Those are so, so good. Even if you're not a huge pumpkin fan, she mentioned this in the recipe, but she said that it wasn't really an overpowering pumpkin taste. You really can't even taste it. It's mostly just for the color but these are so good. Look how pretty these bagels are. So chewy and light, so good. I would definitely recommend this recipe. I do think that the pumpkin cream cheese makes it though. So if you can pick that up too, it's a really great addition. But for the rest of the day, I'm about to get a little bit of work done. I have a call today. And then there's one other thing I would like to do that I'll share later, but I'm not sure if it's gonna happen. We'll see. Essentially, I have this list of things that I wanna get done before the baby arrives. And one of those things is replacing my PO box key. Now, this is not a huge deal. I lost my key. I've lost it before. And the last time I tried to get a replacement, they were just not very happy with me at the post office. I don't know what it is. I just have a fear of the post office. And I have been putting this off for so long, but I know I have packages here that brands have sent me, that people have sent me letters, and it's been a while now. And last time I had quite a few packages that were built up and they just were not happy with me, but I never know, they don't notify me when I get packages. Part of becoming a mother is realizing that things just gotta get done and you can't let little petty fears like this hold you back. So I'm facing my fears today and I'm just gonna do it and I'm gonna be calm. That was a success. He was very, very friendly in there. I got keys right away and I'm going to do a little unboxing when I get home. I have a few packages to unbox and some letters. Just a reminder that things are not as difficult as they may seem in your head and people are probably nicer than you think they're going to be. <laughs> Gonna do a little unboxing. There isn't too, too much in here, but we'll start off with the packages. This is from Vivian. Her and her husband own a small stationery shop online. They have all of these desk pads. They have daily time boxes. They have calendars. These are so nice. I love how simple these are too. Little to-do list. This is amazing. Brain dumps. Thank you so much, Vivian. I have her company linked down below if you're interested. We have a couple of books from Rebecca. Oh, here she goes. Aw, thank you so much, Rebecca. She sent me a couple of baby books and also just wrote me a really sweet letter. And Cash always has to inspect everything too, but thank you so much. Oh, Emily. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is so cute. Can we just take a second? Oh my goodness, the fact that Cash is also sitting right here as I open this, what is it? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much, Emily. I cannot wait to see him wear this with Cash next to him. It's gonna be the cutest photo. Also have a little lovey, which I'm so thankful for. We only have one other one of these, and so I don't have a ton of little loveys like this. So sweet. Thank you so much, Emily. And she just also left a really, really nice note. I 
cannot. So cute. Is that for your little brother? This one is from Ryan. Oh, so sweet. This is from Ryan. She doesn't have social media, but she made me my own crochet hair scarf. So cute. Thank you so much, Ryan. That was so sweet. Again, I'm sorry that I'm just now opening these and you sent these a while ago. We have some cards from Balsam Paper Company. I'll have her company linked down below and she gave me the code Michelle15 for 15% 15 off to share with you guys on Etsy. So I'll have that linked down below. These cards are so, so cute. She sent a bunch of different ones. There's even one that's a little baby one too so sweet i'm always in need of cards too so i'm actually so thankful to have these this one with sunflowers all over it this is from madeline she has a business called poppy bead co and she sent me this bracelet that has gentle on it which was my word for the year if you guys remember i'll have her business down below so so sweet have a letter from renee it's so special i save all of these letters too i have a box of all of them just know that they will forever live in there too another letter from leah this one is all the way from hawaii thank you so much brie another just very sweet letter a postcard from julia card from hannah Thank you, Megan. Everyone always has such beautiful handwriting too. I do not have great handwriting and so I always appreciate it when I open a letter. And that is everything. Thank you guys so much if you sent something. I, again, apologize for being so delayed if that's been sitting in there for a while. It is kind of nice just reading them all at once. It really is just the biggest mood boost and it means so much to have letters that people spend time actually physically writing and sending. I'm really, really so grateful and so thankful for all of you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Actually never properly ended off this vlog. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'm currently starting some other videos. And so just realized I never closed this off. Being totally transparent, I have been getting really, really tired these days. And so I ended up just doing some work and then we just ate leftovers last night and had a chill night and I went to bed early. So not anything entertaining. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys mean so much to me and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends.